is there one thing that or a moment that stuck out or sticks out for you or, or something that that ended up in the song that happened over the past two years a lot <laughs> You're leaving this to me? Yeah, I'm leaving this to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's funny, like, yeah, there's, there's a lot running through it. Um, a lot of it's to do with uh, people in my life and, and, and stuff that I didn't quite know how to deal with in any other way than write a song, you know. Mm. Like, um, yeah, there, there are some heavy moments that I guess are inevitable unfortunately mm. um, all of these songs have like a home like Maya and I have been talking about it a bit and it's like all of these songs have a place like where they were written and I, I like I can't help but think about where they were made yeah, so exactly. like a lot of them like there, there are these little snapshots I have in my head and so the, this new track Pouring Light is mm. we started writing it in, in Stuttgart in, in Germany and we were staying in this shitty hostel um, and we had been playing street music busking that day um, and we were writing at night and we were writing this song and I have this really cool memory of, of, of writing this track and um, I actually really wanted to give up on it like, and, and Maya was like no, you, you need to finish that like you really need to finish that, um, and it's funny. So that so that song has that place, and that and all of the songs on the record have these little things as to where I wrote them. Like we went home to New Zealand, and and two, two of the songs just fell out. Mm-hmm. One in my dad's office at, okay. at at my family home, and the other like at Maya's mother's dining room table okay. one day. <laughs> you know, like it's just really weird that these right. songs have these places, and. And because of that, I can't help but think of that. And I try to, like when I write out a song, if it's really heavy, I try to detach as much as I can right. from those feelings. Like that's the point, is to put it down on paper and then go, cool, I'm, I'm done with that. Yeah. So, sorry. It's, it's kind of cool that like, there's that detachment from the story of the song, but we've kind of attached another story from Element. like... Yeah, where from being on the road where we were, we yeah. recorded the first demo. We were. And like the meanings of songs, like it's, you know, I could I could talk for days on what it means, but, right. but it doesn't do anyone any good knowing my totally. shit. You know, like the whole mm. point is that you listen to it and you, you, you attach it. Yeah. Just know that it comes from a genuine place. You know, like from for me, like where these songs come from, it... it it's not easy to do like it's not an enjoyable process some of the time mm-hmm. so yeah that, that's very interesting then because uh, like you say you try to detach kind of through writing it down mm. but then once you perform live do, do you yeah. go back to it yeah mm, yeah yeah which sucks. <laughs> which sucks no i, I mean it, for me anyway you, you do go back to that place but it's not as fresh like it's no it's not, no 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 it's, it's like not grief like, you know it's like i don't know like you never forget you never forget stuff of course you know like you you always move on or you always learn from things whether it's what someone's done or what you have done you know like you, you never forget mm-hmm. but you can learn to deal with it or you can learn from it or you can better yourself but yeah the, those songs act as reminders i guess mm-hmm. um which can be a good and a bad thing, I guess. <laughs> like a lot of stuff. <laughs> but in that sense, uh, I don't think there's a, a lot of things known about the album yet. So do you have an album title yet? Um, yeah, we do. I haven't really told anyone. Do you want to know? <laughs> then, well, yeah. Why not, right? Um, the album title is Fair. Okay. So, so when, did, when in the process did that title pop into your head? Only once we listened to the whole record back. Okay in full yeah because we realized that the one thing that this record is about is is being sh- shit scared of everything mm. not feeling in control not feeling i don't know just you we don't know what's going to happen you know like we've been doing music for a long time now and and every day it's it's still like are right. we gonna 
survive? Like, are we going to make ends meet? Are we going to be able to eat or whatever? You know, like, it's it's a reoccurring theme, and and I I, I hope people understand why once they listen to it. Yeah. yeah. In that sense, and and having gone through what you have gone through, do you have any expectations then, or is it just the are is is it this is the album we've made, and then that's fine? Yeah, it's it's not about expectations like I'm really proud of the songs um, I think yeah. we've kind of learnt that expectations don't do you any good yeah. and if you're if you're writing music expecting something to come of it then yeah. that's starting in the wrong place and if you're writing music so that people will praise you pff, like yeah that's why we left again the that's, that's yeah. some of the innocence that was taken I guess right. from right. from working with the label because yeah. they promised you know they promised fame and all that stuff which we've learned we don't actually necessarily want but we still want to be making music <laughs> well the, the, you touched upon something was it something you wanted in a way the, the, back back then did it seem appealing to you what, um, what kind of the promises they made and then i remember someone saying to me around the time that we got offered the deal i remember someone saying your 15 year old self would be so excited right now. Okay. Mm. Because when you're a kid, all you think about is a record deal. Right. You know, and when you're a kid, all you think about is like, how can I be an adult? Or how can I be a grown up, but just have fun? Mm. You know, how can I just skip the Still whole being a grown up part and just do, do whatever the fuck I want with my yeah. time? And so all I've ever wanted to do is play music. Mm. Uh, and Sony, or the the record label, Sony, <laughs> motherfuckers, um, had essentially given us an avenue that said, like, "Hey, you're gonna you're gonna be something or whatever." And but we were naive. We were young. Like it's not it's not even their fault. Like I'm not angry sure. at them about sure. it. It's like we were young. We we could have done a whole lot of things smarter. Yeah. Um, and. I think it's always hard to turn down, turn it down when someone's saying, uh, "I believe when, in you." Yeah, you're great. We believe in you. This mm. is gonna work. It's always hard to, you know, especially when you're younger. It's hard to kind of go, "Oh, no, nah, I don't want any of that." Right. So, yeah, I guess we did want want some of that in a way, but. But as advice, as advice for other musicians, no one knows your vision better than you. Exactly. No one knows yeah. your music better than you. No one is right other than you. Yeah, and so because it's your journey. Like, right. who gives a fuck what anyone else thinks? It is your shit. Like we, I guess, to answer the question, we wanted it to a point, but the point was not going to destroy our, integ our integrity or right. our creative process or, like. Yeah, that was still the most important thing to us. But looking back, we hadn't, I don't think, we were just so young. We hadn't even sat down and thought about it, you know. Like, we hadn't thought to ourselves, like, what is success to us? And if you ask us now, well, yeah, it's like success is being able to survive off what we love, mm -hmm. being creative, not having rules and, and people in place telling us how and when to do things, mm. and feeling happy and content you know like yeah. sounding like adults yeah but just money is just <laughs> so <laughs> insignificant and fame is is even less significant and being an important human in the world society means absolutely nothing like un unless you're a person that's going to do some really good things for this universe like just shut shut up like go away <laughs> Like there are just too many people with big mouths talking and they're not actually doing any good mm. for the world, you know. Um, and we, like I don't feel like I'm the person to change the world. Right. I, I'm writing songs because I love to write songs, but I'm not here to do anything like that. Mm. Yeah. So finally then, what are your, because tonight you're playing, mm. how, how do you go into kind of with, with everything we've discussed, how do you approach something like a gig tonight? We've played so many times in the last two years that playing is like the easiest thing that we can do. But I think and tonight's um, pretty special because Amsterdam has been a, a really supportive place for us to uh, play music and, and we have a lot of people here who support us so it's, it's actually pretty exciting to, yeah. to be 
playing tonight and then releasing a new song tomorrow, like in front of the the city really that supported us the most. So. Yeah. And like playing a sold out show in such a small venue is like everyone that's there tonight have been backing us mm -hmm. like f for, you know, the last year and a half or whatever. So tonight's just going to be like perfect for us because yeah, everyone's, special. it's just our, our family, our world of people mm -hmm. there. And that's really important. And then in a couple of months, you will be playing the Seven Layers uh, yeah, Festival. Yeah. So yeah. What, is, is that only important? Then again, it's it's something uh, very much here in Amsterdam. Mm. Dalton is, is, is kind of a guy who yeah, yeah. blew up here. Yeah. So, so is that important then, a, a show like that? Yeah, yeah, Seven Layers has been a huge platform for for us and, and for a lot of our friends as well. You know, like it's, it's really cool that it's given a spotlight for our kind of music you know mm. um you go into a lot of other territories and there's not there's it's not hard such to a find something like it there's not mm. such a platform where you get yeah. to play to people that come into a room and know that the processes sit there and soak it up and don't talk about your favorite i don't know whatever tv show loudly <laughs> um but you know, like yeah, yeah it's, it's, really it's really cool what they've done, um, and I hope that I hope that it keeps going, and I hope that people will back it. You know, will continue to back it. Yeah, uh, yeah it's great. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Val. Thank you. Thank you.